Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren back with the results of my 30 day challenge of walking 10,000 steps a day for weight loss. If you guys are new, hey, I'm Lauren. I'm a mom on health and wellness journey. I have a goal for losing 150 pounds. On my channel, I share healthy recipes, grocery hauls, motherhood lifestyle, as well as tracking my weight loss journey with fitness challenges and monthly updates, including weigh-ins, measurements, and side-by-side -side pictures. I'm gonna be sharing my full monthly update for September today as well as the results for my 10K Steps a Day Challenge. Today is day 30, I'm out for my morning walk. I have learned over the last 30 days that I personally do better splitting my 10,000 steps up across the day. So on average, I get about three to 4,000 steps in without additional activity just around the house. So I try to get in a morning walk and an evening walk that are about two to 4,000 steps each, depending on how much I've left for the day, because nobody wants to be walking in the afternoon in August in Georgia. So to keep accountable the last month, I did do a little bit of vlogging check-ins as well as tracked my progress over on Instagram. So let's take a quick look back at my last 30 days on this challenge. During my journey, I've worked on healthy habits to keep track of the food I'm eating and the water I'm drinking daily, but I've realized I'm not setting a daily goal for movement. I have weekly goals for how many workouts and what kind I want to get in each week, but not on a day-to-day -day basis. As a stay-at-home mom, I'm moving around the home, cleaning, cooking, doing laundry, and playing with my toddler, but am I getting enough movement in on my no workout days? Yesterday was my first day back wearing my Fitbit and tracking my daily steps. Since my husband and daughter are out of town this week, I was mostly working and organizing around the home. By the end of the night, I had only taken 4,365 steps that whole day. So today I'm starting a new daily practice of reaching 10K steps a day. I think if I'm mindfully tracking and setting a daily goal, just like I do with my water intake to reach 100 ounces a day and tracking my food, I will start to build healthy habits of a more active lifestyle. Okay guys, you heard it. It is the goal of the day to walk 10,000 steps today. Getting in those steps, whether it's through daily activity, workouts, or going on walks like I'm starting my morning off with right now. Okay guys, so I basically have a few hundred more steps to go. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do the stairs a few times and see how many laps it takes to get me there. Ten thousand and three, day two. Heading out on my walk, I'm starting at five thousand eight twenty-seven. Let's see how far I can get. Day five, guys. Do I get extra steps for having to hold on to this one while we walk? Day ten. Day ten. Day twelve. I really have been very happy with how high we walk. Day 15. Day 18. Day 19. Day 23. Almost there. We did it. Day 30. I am back from my morning walk. I did go ahead and do my beginning of the month weigh-in and measurements this morning for my monthly weight loss update. I'm gonna share all that with you guys in just a minute. I just wanna talk real quick about how I felt the 30-day challenge went. I honestly feel so good after walking 10,000 steps a day for 30 days. I feel like I have so much more energy. I feel like I can more easily breathe through any sort of activity and even just in our neighborhood going up and down the hills, I feel like I am not breathing nearly as heavy as I was at the beginning of this challenge. I've definitely noticed a difference in my pants fitting looser and my legs and ankles feel stronger. I have had weaker ankles since I was younger when I played sports. I used to have to wear ankle braces and I feel like when I'm doing other workout activities, if I'm doing like HIIT workouts or even yoga, I just feel so much more centered and balanced in my body and I feel like my ankles and feet are really strong. It was difficult getting started. I know they say it takes 
takes what two to three weeks to set a new habit so it definitely was work getting that new habit solidified and going walking every day and of course there was some soreness and aches and pains to begin with but nothing that was so aggressive that I felt like I needed to stop I made sure I was stretching daily um, both in the morning and then in the evening or right before or after a bigger walk I made sure to stay hydrated which was really important I feel like for muscle recovery and I knew not to push myself too far I knew that by breaking up the walking throughout the day it would be easier on my muscles and joints as I got used to walking more every day but there were some days life gets busy I'm a mom of a three-year-old we've been running around doing crazy stuff all over the place for summer so there were definitely nights when I would go out for my evening walk and I still had six or seven thousand steps left to do and I would do a bigger three to five mile walk but I could do it and I did do it. I feel like I learned there's so much of the time there's things in my own head that I still think of myself as someone who's 75 pounds heavier. At my heaviest weight of 365 pounds there were a lot of activities that I would do and I would feel exhausted, I would feel pain, I would feel like I couldn't do it, and I would talk myself out of things. And I'm not that person anymore, and this challenge has really shown me how far I've come and how big of a difference a 75 pound weight loss can be on your body. I can squat down and tie my shoes without having pain standing back up again. I can get down on the floor and play with my daughter and easily get myself back up and back down and crawl around with her and dance with her doing dance parties and not be winded and exhausted after a couple minutes. Something as simple as walking daily can really benefit your health. And I feel like I've seen so much of that in this last month, even though I was already pretty far in my weight loss journey when I started this month, there are things that I did that I didn't think I could do yet. But you never know until you try and until you set healthy habits to reoccur things and change your lifestyle for good. Something like walking daily is such a great healthy lifestyle change that can really benefit my health in the long term, not just for short term for weight loss, until I get to a certain weight, but something I need to do for my health and my body I'm going for the rest of my life to keep up my health at no matter what weight I'm at. So all this month I used my Fitbit to track my steps daily. I also used my Instagram account and created a 30 day tracker. I still have it saved to a highlight. So if you guys go and check out my Instagram page, you'll be able to see that tracker and use it for yourself. I just made it for any 30 days because sometimes you don't want to wait till the first of the month to start a new healthy goal and health challenge for yourself. So it's for any 30 days. You guys could start today, start tomorrow but no don't start tomorrow start today because you're worth it those are ways I kept myself accountable all month I also had some great motivation because I've hinted a little bit at it throughout the month as I've been vlogging we have a really fun and special family trip where it was going to require us to be super active for the trip so I'm gonna share a little bit of that with you guys too, our celebration, if you will, of completing this 30 day challenge. So here are my results from my 30 day challenge of walking 10,000 steps a day, my weigh in measurements and side by side picture results from the last month of August and keep watching for a sneak peek at our fun family trip that kept us motivated and walking all month long. So on September 1st, I weighed in at 287.2 pounds. That is six pounds down from my August 1st weigh-in. My measurements were really interesting this month. There were a couple places where I had no change, even though I lost six pounds. A couple places where I lost a little bit, like in my arm, my chest. I lost two inches in my lower waist and a half inch in my hips. But I did see that I actually gained a half an inch in my thigh and a quarter of an inch in my calf. And I'm going to chalk that up to having built up some muscle in the last 30 days. So I've seen a move on the scale. I've seen some movement in measurements. My clothes are fitting differently. I feel like I finally pushed that stall in my weight loss journey. I have focused a lot on my food the first half of my journey. I do the WW program. This last month I've been doing the green plan. But every month I focus on my fitness and really make it a priority priority to start working out more, to start doing weightlifting or walking or whatever the challenge has been. Those are the months I see the biggest change on the scale. So we've hit that point in the journey, guys. I need to start doing a lot more in regards to fitness to continue my progress. I'm so proud of my progress I've seen so far. These pictures are such a great reminder to me whether I've had a two pound loss for the month or a six to eight pound loss for the month. I am having a loss and I'm making progress. It's slow, it's steady, and I'm working my way to being happier and healthier.
We're getting there. I told you we're using this 10K challenge as a prep for something special, right? We're at Disney World. Ugh, I can't believe it. we've been planning this trip. I don't know, I think we planned and canceled like seven or eight different times over the last two years. It's our daughter Lila's first ever trip to Disney World. And I knew that I didn't want to feel tired. I didn't want to be hurting while we walked. So I thought what better time than in August to prepare and get myself back in walking shape. So we did it. We walked 10,000 steps every single day in August. We have only been here for like two hours and I'm over 5,000 steps already. I am going to pick up, I'm not vlogging the whole day. We're spending a special family day, but I'm gonna check in with you guys a couple times and update you on my steps. Again, we're over 5,000 steps and we've only been here for two hours. So let's see what the total gets to. Let's see how I feel after uh, training for the last month for our Disney trip. We're at Disney, guys. <laughs> Lila's having a Mickey waffle. Almost 11, 5,382 steps. We've only been here since nine. Well guys, it's dark, but we just got stuck on Splash Mountain, so I thought I'd update you with my steps. Guys, it is only 1227, 7,867 steps. All right guys, 152, 10,023 steps already. I cannot believe we hit 10,000 steps and it's only 2 o'clock. We only been in the park for like 5 hours, so glad we did our walking. So hot today. y'all we did it we are sweaty we have been rained on it poured like during fireworks until we got to the transportation back to our car but it didn't rain the rest of the day so we'll take it okay final tally time we have our final steps at 20,504 steps I'm exhausted but I did it and I honestly don't know that I could have done what we did if I hadn't been walking last month. We wouldn't have made it on as many rides or I would have had to set out a lot more. Guys, I'm telling you, we had one day at Magic Kingdom and we did almost everything. I think there was like two or three rides we didn't go on because Lila didn't want to because she would have been too scared. And we just preferred to do things as families instead of like us going on rides by ourselves. So, that was a big day. Can you hear her snoring? She was a champ. She did so good all day, but she finally fell asleep for the first time all day. She didn't nap at all in the stroller on her way back to her car. Anyway, I'm rambling because we're tired and our car is fogging up because we're sweaty and hot and gross. So that's all I have for you guys today. There's the results of my 10,000 steps a day for 30 days and we did it. We made it through Disney. We survived. We thrived. So glad we did it. Until next time. Bye. Bye. I always do. Never think I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump Oh, what a fool